about I'm on the facts of Mars and the global communists uh women all almost all women this time were at it. Uh this was pre planned March we knew it was going to happen. Uh Secret Service has largely said they'll open an investigation to Madonna after a DC speech. Uh, she basically said she's contemplated blowing up the White House. Yeah, you can't uh, do that type of thing. You can't say that kind of thing because you can get arrested. Secret Service has reportedly said they'll inter open an investigation into Madonna after the singer told the Women's March on Washington that she had thought about blowing up the White House. Now, she should have been investigated a long time ago. Donning a black pussy hat, the music icon caused controversy from do by dropping the F-bomb four times, sparking a slew of apologies from broadcasters airing the protest live. She went on to speak of her rage at the election result, telling the crowd she had had a lot of, had thought a lot about blowing up the White House, but knew it wouldn't change anything. Uh, yeah, you're trying to start a civil war. Now, I listened to Al Ashley Judd, and uh, she was worse than Madonna. She was openly talking about uh, the, the new civil war between North and South. Now, you look at this. Is this a woman? I mean, really. But physically, she may be, but mentally, she's not. And you wonder why so many men are staying single. Well, here you go. Where can you find a wife? Where can you find a wife? It's hard. A green gateway pundit, a spokesman for Secret Service, said so they are aware of Madonna's comments and will open an investigation with the ultimate decision whether or not to prosecute the decision of the U.S. Attorney General Attorney's Office. The only mail online has reached out to the Secret Service for a comment. Mondana stated, I am angry, yes, I am outraged, yes, I thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House, but I know that this would not change anything. We cannot fall into despair, as Poilet W.H. Auden once said on the eve of World War II, we must love one another or die. I choose love, are you with me? No, you don't choose love, you're a hateful, nasty, nasty person. I'm sorry, that's the way it is. Take a look at some of these signs. 624 days of midterms when the fight to protect, protect reproductive rights. Our mother's one descent. It's patriotic. Michelle Obama, 2020. Oh my God, that would be a nightmare. Tempers ran high for more than a half a million marchers as more than a half a million marchers took to Washington, D.C. on Saturday to oppose Donald Trump's new presidency, with both Madonna and Ashley Judge spewing lewd rants against the new president. Like I said, I, I listened to about two minutes to Ashley Judd, and that was all I could take. She is... She is by our own admission here, I am a nasty woman, she continued. I'm not as nasty as a man who looks like he bays in Cheeto dust. Look at that, she's grabbing her crotch. What a revolting, disgusting creature. And here's some more pictures. Watch out for, watch out for this, because... I don't care if they're women or not, they're dangerous. 
Don't have me whether they're women or not. Uh, the old days of women being sugar and spice and everything nice are no longer applicable. Especially when you see something like this. March is expected to be the largest inauguration related protest in U.S. history and comes the day after Donald Trump was sworn in as President of the United States. Uh, here's uh, the quote by a Ashley Judd I am not as nasty as Confederate flags being tattooed across my cities. Maybe the South is actually going to rise, maybe for someone that never really fell. There's actually some truth to that, believe it or not. I've heard some things. Judd continued proudly to repeat the phrase, I'm a nasty woman as, crowd, as the crowd of thousands continued to cheer. This is utterly, utterly revolting. And you can see there are some men in this too. But these are communists. Make no mistake about it. Madonna is a radical communist. Uh, Ashley Judd is a radical communist. They hate freedom. They hate representative government. This whole thing is getting out of hand. I, I never realized there were this many uh, communists in this country, but apparently there are. These are communist folks. They are without honor. I don't care. I don't care who knows what I think that. They are communists. How else are you going to explain this? This isn't about uh, patriotism. How can you call this patriotism when they're acting like this? And like I said, the headline said that there are 600 different protests worldwide uh, similar to this one. This is that stupid cow who, uh, started an ugly Betty. Let's see who else. Scarlett Johansson, I don't know who that is. I know who this moron is, obviously. Michael Moore, communist. This isn't limited to women. Obviously not. Alicia Keys, I've heard of this person. Don't know who she is. This is to show you, you know, who the communists are. That looks like Cher, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Uh, so does anybody wonder why I, uh, I and many other men never get married? There's no wives out there. Uh, there's gotta be some good ones, but... We have this going on, it's just utterly revolting. As far as I'm concerned. Rosie Perez... Emma Watson, I've heard of that one. I think this is uh, good enough. These are communists. They are troublemakers. They hate America. They hate freedom. They hate representative government. They They go against every single last American principle there is. I just revolted that this is happening. Well, it did happen. I blew it off. I can't figure, well, you know, probably won't be that much going on, but I was mistaken. I did mention, I did have a video, you know, video about those stupid pussy hats. Watch out for them, they're trouble, and they're instigating trouble in other countries. 
uh, with the Sisterhood of Communism. 600 rallies worldwide. 600 rallies of communists worldwide. That's not good. I don't know who I'm more scared of, communists or globalists. Or is there any difference? Anyway, I'm Artifacts of Mars. We're going a little long. Thanks for watching.